I'm pretty confident that we hit a record amount of snowfall last night. This is insane. Let me take you for a little look around the farm. I apologize for the shaky camera. I'm walking through, trying to trudge through the snow. I'm heading out to check my salt feeders. And, um, but I wanted to give a shout out to Michaela Homan. Um, I think that's how you say her name. She's one of my subscribers and um, she requested that I do a Q&A with, um, about my horses. So um, I'm happy to do that. And so what I need is down in the comments below, I'll do a Q&A video. So if you guys would post any questions that you have about my horses and, or I guess if there's anything else too, go ahead. Um, and I'd be happy to do that for you guys. So anything you want to know, just ask and I will do my best to answer for you. The snowbank is over his head. Look at Stella! <laughs> she just came blasting out of the snowbank by Ona. Poor Ona can't see anything. Huh? Ona can't see over the snowbank. Ona's right there in the middle. You can just see her ears sticking thought, up over I the top. I thought it was another dog. No. She, she watches over that gate every day. The trees look like diamonds. They are so beautiful. I know. <laughs> this is what we call snow swimming. There's the small barn cover up. Yep, this is a lot of snow. We got like 15 or 9 inches. 15 or 9 inches? I think we got about 24 inches. That is a big snowbank. This was below that fence last night, so that's a lot of snow. And usually this all right here um, is pushed way, way, this has never been this close um, before. It's usually pushed way back. Well, there's my walkway to the arena. Porta potty needs to be shoveled out. Estella just showed us. My door needs to be shoveled out. Trailers are a little bit covered. We could get those out if we needed to though. So that's always important to make sure that you can get to your trailer if needed. Oh my. Yeah. That's a lot of snow. Oh, she is so frustrated. That baby is moving so much. And uh, that's why she keeps stomping. Yep. Oh, wow. There's something right here. Oh! Hold on, guys. I'm in with Nika. I'm looking at her belly because the baby's moving. You guys want to feel Nika's baby? Yeah! Okay, just hold it there and wait, okay? I felt something. You guys feel it moving? Not even missing. Move your hand down a little bit, Tove. Right? Right here? I yeah. can feel it kicking. You can feel it? Isn't that cool? It's like a little. I can see it. What? I can see movement all over up in here. I can't feel it. I can feel it. I just felt the leg. Ow. Yep, I just there's a lot the of heel. movement going on in there. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Right where my hand is. Feel that. Sally, get out. The dog wants to be here too. Can you feel that? What? Just spread your hand open. 
and really wait and feel. Stop, Woody, you're taking up all that whole space. Hey, don't fight. There's plenty of horse belly to go around. There's so much movement in there today. Oh, right here, I just felt it. Ah! You gotta kinda chase the feet around. Stella, get out. And if you just watch even, you can see it moving. But I did feel its leg. You felt its leg? Yeah. What, how do you feel about being able to feel a baby kicking through a belly like that? Is that crazy? Yeah. Is it cool? Yeah. Are you excited what's, to meet Nika's baby? That's salt. That's salt. Are you excited to meet Nika's baby? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Really excited. Good. Me too. Can I pet her? Yeah, oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Stella, you do not need to be in here. She's and so look, pretty. And her, it looks like she's golden. She does look golden, hey? Yeah. Okay, we have a little bit of shoveling to do. Yeah, a lot. There's a lot of shoveling. This is what Sally does when she gets frustrated, is she'll back up to the corner of the cell and then come forward and then keep doing that. So watch, she'll come, she'll come forward, lift her head, and she'll back up, and then she'll come forward and lift her head. And so on and so on. Sally, I'll get you out of here. <laughs> I love that these guys love to shovel. I hope they continue to like to shovel because that'll be really handy when they're a little bigger. <laughs> For now, we just go with it. so much snow I can't even believe how much snow we have um, this is this is a little bit crazy and um, the kids luckily are having fun with it and I'm gonna but, dig my hole so deep they're just digging past um, <laughs> my horses have hay castles out in the pasture that's what I call them basically it's just a um, six by six round bale hay chicks net filled with 20 bales of hay so they're all set for quite a while um, so they're happy and I like doing that because then the hay doesn't get all buried in the snow so that kind of becomes a major issue around here when oh that's nice it's nice my kids are hitting each other with shovels luckily I don't have to put hay out today because there's no way I don't think we would get the side by side out there's just not even a chance so but the horses will have this tromp down pretty good we'll move <laughs> Oh, but that was not good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take care of that. All right. One of the biggest struggles about having horses in the winter time is making sure that they have water. So I fill our water tubs every single day and our hose is about 150 feet long. So having to trudge out and make sure that they, um, they have water has always been quite the challenge. We store our hose in a heated box every night, so that way we don't have to worry about having a frozen hose. And we have three water tubs, so as soon as one is filled, I walk back out, put it into another one, carry on with what I was doing, and then walk back out and fill up the other one. And then in the end, go ahead and um, I drain the hose before storing it back in the box. Stella, come here. Come here. Stella, come here. When Stella went out to potty this morning, the snow in front of her house was above her head, and so she couldn't, um, she had to swim to go to her potty spot. My kids are having a ball picking icicles off the fence. I did turn it off so they don't get zapped. <laughs> I absolutely love my insulated tub boxes. Um, these are really awesome because when the snow piles up around them, it really insulates them so we don't go through as much electricity when we use them. So it saved a lot on the energy bill for sure, but they're completely covered. Here's Blossom and Nakona and Cinnamon. I'll come in to see what's going on. Hey girls. So a question that I have is for those of you who live in areas that get snow. What I want to know is what's the most snow that you get at one time? Um, you know, like today, we, we got at least two feet of snow last night is my guess. I would say, I'd say at least a solid two feet, maybe a bit more. Well, I came over to check on the salt here and Muffin is in it. 
Oops. You slipped on a frozen horse turd. Yeah, we got lots there still. Good girl, Muffin. Keep eating the salt. <laughs> Muffin's got some pretty serious some. Um, check out the snowballs dangling on her belly. <laughs> Hi, bear. These boys over here are playing and having a good time. There's Diego. There he comes. Oh, there they go. It's so fun to watch them. I think they really do have a good time. Muffin's in my pockets. She's like, hi. <laughs> the poor minis rely on everybody else to pave a trail for them because this is such a, it's so deep. I mean, these hay boxes were out of the ground two days ago. So we had a lot of snow. So I probably won't be using those for a while. Hi, Rosie. Lucky and Bear are always playing. And Blossom is sort of the peacekeeper of the herd, so she <laughs> likes to wander over and make sure that they're not getting too rowdy. She wouldn't want anybody to get hurt. That's just kind of her, that's just kind of her personality. She likes to make sure everybody's okay. As soon as my water tubs are filled, I unhook my hose and put it up through a roller in my rafters. And what this does is this makes sure that all the water drains out of it. And then just to be sure my hose doesn't freeze, I coil it up into a insulated and heated hose box that we made. And that has worked out really, really well. I've been using this for two years and I've only had my hose freeze one time and that was because of a, a malfunction with a, um, with a light bulb. So I'm pretty happy with how this has worked out for me. If you would like to see more about how we water our horses in the winter, I have a video about the entire process and I'll go ahead and um, be sure to link that up on this video. Something that always happens on the north side of my arena is the snow blows in up the wall. Um, I don't mind this because we just drag it in and it helps keep the footing from being dusty. So this is Lila, as you can see she's got a shaved backside and um, I actually have video that will that I'm gonna post soon that will explain all of that and what happened with her because it was kind of an ordeal um, so Lila and this is Jackson and they are siblings they're about eight months old and they came from my parents farm they're super friendly so they've been in a couple videos but I haven't really formally introduced them so just know their story will be I'll be posting that at some point too. Stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, share it with your friends. And uh, Annabelle says hi. She's gonna start licking me. <laughs> oh, yeah, there she goes. Um, what was I saying? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post weekly videos, several videos a week actually. I've been doing um, quite a few. And you guys gotta know, I have um, pages and pages of video ideas. So I have so much to share with you. So please just keep checking back to my channel cause I'll always have new stuff coming. Well, time for me to put the camera away and start shoveling. Thanks so much for watching. Here's Floyd. Floyd just got switched to a new supplement called California Trace. I'm going to be switching all of my horses over to it. And um, we have basically, we have very high iron in our area. And um, a lot of the supplements and grains and everything contain iron as well. So this was a supplement that doesn't contain added iron. And, uh, but Floyd is super fussy about his food. And if you make any change to his food, it takes him about a month to adjust. So, and that could even be just getting him, like if he runs out of his supplement for a couple days and then gets a new bag, he won't eat it. So you gotta slowly add it back into his diet. <laughs>